fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. اهلا بكم في حلقه جديده وفيديو جديد لقناتنا English for Arabs. Welcome to English for Arabs channel. Today we're going to have unit 7 part 1. What's this for? This video includes one PowerPoint presentation, the meaning of the words in English and Arabic, the explanation of the lesson, pages 44, 45, and 46. Wish you all good luck. And now let's start. Unit 7. What's this for? Page 44. 1. Object. Thing. Pocket calculator. Calculator. T sub D. Calculator. A device which is used for doing calculation. World Wide Web www World Wide Web www Video Games A game played by a computer program a Cell Phone A Mobile Phone Smartphone A mobile that can be used As a computer, computer, T sub D, R, R, double R. Two, the words of exercise number two. Email, a letter which is sent electronically. Video chatting, communicating visually with another person by computer. Communicating visually, visually, you can see the photo, the picture, the image. You see the person. Communicating visually with another person by computer. School assignment. G silent. School assignment. Projects or homework. School assignment. G silent. Projects or homework. Download music. Transfer music files from the web to a personal computer. Download music. Transfer music files from the web to a personal computer. Check the weather. Check the weather. 3. Theta. Satellite. T sub D. Satellite, a manufactured object sent into orbit around the Earth. Satellite, a manufactured object sent into orbit around the Earth. Robert. Robert. American Robert. A computer-controlled factory machine. A computer-controlled factory machine. DNA vinegar printing. DNA vinegar printing. A way to identify people using information from their cells. This is the DNA vinegar printing. CD-ROM. Abbreviation for Compact Disk Read Only Memory. CD-ROM, Compact Desk Read Only Memory. Transmit, Transmit or Transmit. Transmit, Send. A GPS, GPS device, a device that receives global positioning system. This is the system of GPS, Global Positioning System. Signal to determine The device's location on Earth. So this is the GPS device, which is of course global positioning system device. This is the GPS GPS device. It gives signals to determine the device's location on Earth. Text message, a message that you can type and send on your cell phone. 
text message, a message that you can type and send in your cell phone. Criminal, a person who has done something illegal. Criminal, a person who has done something illegal. An encyclopedia, an encyclopedia, a group of box. An encyclop, an encyclopedia, an encyclopedia, a group of box. Four, robotics, robotics, T sub D, between two vowels, O and I, robotics. The science of making and using robots. Um, British robotics, robotics, British. American robotics, robotics, T sub D and O as a sound in American. Transmission, transmission, sending. Media, communication. Media, communication, like mass media, mass media, or mass communication. Desk driver, a piece of computer equipment. Desk driver, a piece of computer equipment that allows information to be stored and read. Monitor, a computer screen. Mouse, small hand operated device. Keyboard. Surf the net. Look at different websites online. Surf the net. Look at. Look at different websites online. Be into. Be very interested in. Be very interested in. Hardware. Parts of computer. Hardware. Parts of computer. Flash drive. A pocket portable data. Data storage device. So flash drive, I can say it's a data storage device. Data storage device. Create a slideshow. Create song playlists. To play a group of songs together. Create song playlists. To play a group of songs together. Geek. Technophel, geek, technophel, someone who is very interested in computer systems. So geek equals to technophel, someone who is very interested in computer systems. Hacker, someone who illegally goes into other people's computer systems. Hacker, someone who illegally goes into other people's computer systems. Was nerd. Drag and drop. Highlight text. Highlight text. Exercise number six. Nerivators. Nerivators. T soft D. Nerivators. T soft D between E and E. Nerivators. People who ask others to send emails or browse websites for them. Internet dropouts or internet dropouts internet dropouts people who are once used the internet but don't anymore ruler areas the countryside ruler areas the countryside privacy privacy unit 7 what's this for Exercise number one, snapshot. Look at the picture here. The invention of everyday objects. These are the inventions of everyday. We use these inventions every day. One, pocket calculator. This is a pocket calculator. British pocket cal calculator. Pocket calculator. American pocket calculator T sub D and R R. When was it made? When was it invented? In 1970. 1970. Second invention. Video games. Video games. When was video game invented? 
Video games device was invented in 1972. Cell phone. This is mobile. It was invented in 1979. Camcorder. When was the camcorder invented? It was invented in 1980. Touch screen tablet. Touch screen tablet. It was invented in 2010. 2010. 2010. What's this? There is a map. So this is personal GPS. This is system for telling the position the personal GPS the global positioning system it tells you where are you exactly in which area in which city in which city in which town in which street are you in smartphone what is the difference between cell phone and smartphone cell phone was made in 1979. It was invented in 1979. Smartphone was invented in 1992. Smartphone is a mobile, a cell phone that can be used as a computer. So it's a computer and a cell phone. And this is computer, but this is www. World Wide Web. The World Wide Web was invented in 1989. What are the things that you use every day? I usually use pocket calculator, cell phone, touch screen tablet, smartphone, and World Wide Web every day. Which invention do you think is the most important or the least important? The most important invention is smartphone. And a smartphone it's a mobile, a cell phone, a computer, and you can use the internet. So smartphone is the most important invention for me. What is the least important? The least important is camcorder. This is the least important for me. What are some other things you use every day? I use also the microwave. It's a great invention. I use also other inventions such as the microwave oven, the fridge, the refrigerator, the laptop. There are different inventions that we use every day. Unit 7. What's this for? Page 44, Exercise 2, Perspectives. Computer Usage. Part A. How do you use a computer? Listen and respond to the statements. I use a computer. To send emails. For watching movies. To play games. To shop online. For doing school assignments. To learn languages. For video chatting. To check the weather. To read the news. For downloading music. In this exercise, how do you use a computer? Here, I use a computer. You write here often, sometimes, hardly ever, never, never, zero often usually 
Example, I often use a computer to send emails. So to send emails, make true for often. For watching movies, I sometimes, I sometimes use a computer for watching movies. So use here true. To play games, I hardly ever use a computer to play games. To shop online, I never, I never use a computer to shop online. Shop online to, to go shopping on the internet by using the visa. So here you try to make a sentence. Say I and then you write often, sometimes, hardly ever, never use a computer to plus verb to send to plus main verb verb for verb plus ing watching for watching movies for doing school assignment school assignments school homework to do the homework to learn languages languages English French Italian Spanish for video chatting to chat on the internet to chat on the internet to check the weather to check the weather is it cold or hot to read the news I often use a computer to read the news to read the news I sometimes use a computer for downloading music for plus verb plus ing for downloading music for downloading songs 45 exercise 3 grammar focus infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes infinitives I use my computer to send emails some people use computers to play games computers are often used to watch movies infinitives infinitive means main verb I use my computer to send emails to send so this is infinitive some people use computers to play games Computers are often used to watch movies. So this is the purpose. A question for why. Why do you use your computer? I use my computer to send emails, to play games, to watch movies. To plus main verb, infinitive. What about the gerund? Gerund verb plus ing. Lesson. Gerunds. I use my computer for sending emails. Some people use computers for playing games. Computers are often used for watching movies. Gerund verb plus ing. I use my computer for sending emails for verb plus ing. Some people use computers for playing games for playing verb plus ing computers are often used for watching movies for verb plus ing so the question here why do you use your computer so i use my computer for sending emails for playing games for watching movies for verb plus ing so i can use to plus main verb or for plus verb with ing for plus verb plus ing to express purposes the reason infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes what does it mean infinitive infinitive mean verb verb without d ed ing Gerund verb plus ing. Gerund verb with ing. For uses and purposes. I use it for reasons, for certain reasons.
infinitives for uses and purposes. I always use my computer to play games. So why? Why do you use your computer to play games? I almost always use my computer to learn English. I usually use my computer to write letters. Letters? I often, T silent, I often use my computer to download music. I sometimes use my computer to read the news. I hardly ever use my computer to check the weather. I almost never use my computer to do my homework. I never use my computer to watch movies, to watch TV. Purpose Why do you use your computer? To play games, to play, to learn English, to write letters, to download music, to read the newspaper, to read the news, to check the weather, to do my homework, to watch movies, to watch film. So here we use infinitive to plus infinitive, main verb, play, learn, write, download, read, check, do, watch. All of these verbs are infinitives. So, how can we make a sentence? Say, I always, almost always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, almost never, never use plus object. My computer to plus infinitive. I, I always, I almost always, I usually, I often, I sometimes, I hardly ever, I almost never, I never use plus the option, use my computer to plus infinitive. Example, I always use my computer to do my homework. I almost always use my computer to watch movies. I usually use my computer to write letters. So here use I plus these words always 100%, almost always 90, usually 80, often 70, sometimes 50, hardly ever 20, almost never 10, never 0. Plus object to plus infinitive. Gerund for uses and purposes. What's gerund? Gerund, verb plus ing. I always, L sign, I always use my computer for playing games. For verb plus ing. I almost always use my computer for learning English. I usually use my computer for writing letters. Writing, American writing, for writing letters. I often use my computer for downloading music. I sometimes use my computer for reading the news. I hardly ever use my computer for checking the weather. I almost never use my computer for doing my homework. I never use my computer for watching movies. So if your I always, almost always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, almost never, never, never zero. The verb use 
my computer object for and verb plus ing playing learning writing downloading reading checking doing watching after for verb plus ing this is a purpose why why do you use your computer i always use my computer for playing games why do you use your computer for playing games for learning english for writing letters for downloading music for reading the news for check for checking the weather for doing my homework for watching movies for watching films I, I always, I almost always, I usually, I often, T silent, I sometimes, I hardly ever, yeah sound, hardly ever, I hardly ever, I almost never, I never, verb, object, for, verb, plus, ing. So you can use like I or subject. And then adverbs always, almost always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, almost never, never, verb plus object. For verb plus ing. A. Per work. What do you know about this technology? Complete the sentences in column A with the information from column B. Use infinitives and gerunds. More than one answer is possible. More than one combination is possible. More than one answer is possible. In this exercise, we match A with B. And here we have different answers. Number one, satellites are used to, are used to study the weather, the world's weather. I can say satellites are used for studying the world's weather. You write to plus verb, main verb, for, you put verb plus ing, for studying, to study, for studying. 1. Satellites are used to, satellites are used to transmit television shows, TV shows. Satellites are used for transmitting television shows. What's a satellite? This is a satellite in this picture. You see, this is a satellite. Satellites are used to transmit telephone calls. Satellites are used for transmitting telephone calls. 2. Robots. British robots, American robots. Robots are sometimes used used to perform dangerous tasks, risky tasks. Robots are sometimes used for performing dangerous tasks. Tasks works. Dangerous works. Three. You can use a cell phone. You can use a mobile to send text messages for sending text messages. You can use a cell phone for making travel reservations to make travel reservations. 4. People use the internet. The internet, the internet. People use the internet to study the world's weather for studying the world's weather people use the internet for making travel reservations to make travel reservations 5 a gps a gps device is used gps this is global positioning system device this device tells you where are you. A GPS device is used to get directions. A GPS device is used for getting directions. 6. A 
tablet. A tablet computer can be used to shop online for shopping online. A tablet computer can be used to read e box for reading e box. A tablet computer can be used to transmit TV shows for transmitting TV shows. B. Group work. Think of three more items of technology, then talk about possible uses for each one. In this exercise, you are going to talk about three inventions or some inventions you use every day. You can use an MP3 player to listen. You can use DVD players to watch movies and play CDs. You can use microwave oven to make the food hot. You can use the refrigerator, the fridge, to keep the food. Exercise number four. Exercise four, pronunciation, syllable stress, syllable part of the word. Stress to make the sound louder, higher, and longer. A. Listen in brackets. Notice which syllable has the main stress. So in these words, where is the main stress? In which part? Is it in the beginning, the first part? In the middle or at the end of the word. Now listen and repeat. Page 45, exercise 4, pronunciation, syllable stress, part A. Listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite, internet, messages, invention. Assignment Computer CD-ROM Engineer Entertain Page 45, Exercise 4, Pronunciation Syllable Stress Part A Listen and Practice Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite Internet Messages Invention Assignment Computer CD-ROM Engineer Entertain In this exercise, SATA, satellite, so the stress in the first part, Internet Message The stress here on the first part, on part number one these words are three parts. Sarah, lie, so three parts. In, tar, net. So you have your three parts, but with stress on the first part, the sound is higher, louder, and longer. Satellite, internet, message. Here, three parts. In, ven, shen. In, ven, shen. Three parts, three syllables. But the stress on the second part, on part number two, invention, invention, assign, assignment, assignment, computer. So here the stress is in the middle, invention, assignment, computer. Three, C, D, ROM. So here the stress on the third part, three parts, C, D, ROM, C, D, ROM. The stress on the last part, N, G, near, engineer. So here, the stress here, near, on the third part, N, tar, ten, entertain, the stress on ten. So the stress here in the last part. So the first group, 
stress on the first part, here, stress is in the middle, on the second part, but here the stress is on the third part. Number B, where is the stress in these words? Add them to the columns in part A, then listen and check. Page 45, exercise 4, part B. Where is the stress in these words? Add them to the columns in part A, then listen and check. Directions DVD Media Telephone Transmission Understand Page 45, Exercise 4, Part B Where is the stress in these words? Add them to the columns in Part A, then listen and check. Directions DVD Media Telephone Transmission Understand So group 1 here, satellite, internet, messages, telephone, telephone, media, media, this is group 1, group 2, invention, assignment, computer, Transmission, 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 directions, directions. Before shen, we have the stress. Direction, transmission. Three, CD ROM, engineer, entertain, DVD, DVD, understand, understand. Word power, the world of computers. The world of computers. A. Complete the chart with words and phrases from the list. Add one more to each category. American will say category. British, British, category. Then compare with a partner. In this exercise, we have different words. We should fill these words here. It means we have browse websites. Computer with, create a slideshow, create song playlists, cut and paste, drag and drop, edit a video to make a video, flash drive, this is like a storage small unit for storage data, geek, hacker, geek and hackers, people who are crazy about using computers, they are using computers a lot. Light text, keyboard, monitor, mouse, open a file, techno file. One minute, try to answer. Write the words here, like people who are into computers, type of computers, hardware. Type of computer, hardware, hardware, parts of computer. Fun things to do with a computer, things to do with a mouse. Now, let's answer. People who are into computers, geek, hacker, technophile, with, nerd. So, people who are into computers, computer with, hacker, Geek, technophile. Those people are interested in using computer. Type of computer hardware. Computer hardware. Keyboard. Monitor. Mouse. Printer, flash drive, mouse, again, types of hardware, keyboard, monitor, mouse, 
flash drive flash drive also we can say printer fun things to do with a computer browse websites play games create song playlists create songs playlists edit a video edit a video things to do with the mouse cut and paste drag and drop highlight text open a file open a file open a file I can also create a slide a slideshow create a slideshow B look at the picture what do you see a young man He's typing on the computer. This is a keyboard. This is the monitor. He has a Visa card. Group work. Discuss how computers have changed our lives. Ask and answer questions like this. How do computers make your life easier or more difficult? Computers make our lives easier. Now we can send a message on the internet. In the past, we used to use the letters. It took 10 days to send a letter to your brother. Now you can chat for a long time with your brother in a different country or with your friend in a different country. In the past, it took, it was too expensive to use the telephone and it took short time, just five minutes or 10 minutes on the phone. How do they affect the way you spend your free time? In the past, we used to play hide and seek. We used to run. We used to go to we used to go to the park to play. We used to go to clubs. Now we play computer games. We watch movies. How do they influence the kinds of jobs people have? In the past, the best jobs in Egypt to work as a doctor, an engineer, or a teacher. Now, the best jobs are programmers, website designers, web developers, surgeons, doctors. Yes, so the computers influence the kinds of jobs that people have. What kinds of problems do they cause? Computers cause a lot of problems. Healthy problems. Healthy problems, if you use the computers for a long time, it causes, the computer causes different healthy problems. For eyes, problems for eyes, for backbone, obesity problems, you're going to be fat because you don't move from the computer. All the day, you are in front of the computer. Do you know anyone who the computer was? Yes. Are hackers a problem where you live? Sure. Hackers are problems in everywhere now. They violate the privacy. They change the passwords of emails. They get the visas numbers and passwords. Exercise number six, listening offline and proud of it. Now look at the picture, what do you see? 
a young man is carrying a monitor, an old monitor of computer, a young lady, and she throws, she gets, she gets rid of her computer. Donate your computer today. Now, give us your computer for charity, for good work. Donate with your old computer. A. Guess the answer to the questions below. Then listen to a radio program about the internet and check your answers. 1. What percentage of the U.S. population never uses the internet? What kinds of people don't use the internet in the U.S.A. in America? What is the percentage of people who didn't use the internet? Are they 10%, 20%, 20, 30 percent. What kinds of people who don't use the internet? Kinds of people are they doctors or farmers? People who are educated or not educated? Let's listen. Page 46, exercise 6. Listening. Offline and proud of it. Part A. Guess the answers to the questions below. Then listen to a radio program about the internet and check your answers. We've all heard stories about how internet use is growing. Today, however, we're talking with someone who has studied people who don't use the internet. Let's welcome Dr. Tom Van Cleave to the program. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Thanks for coming. Now, I understand that many people still don't use the Internet. Is that right? What can you tell us? That's right. My research has revealed that in the United States, for example, about 22% of the population never uses the Internet. And why is that? Well, they tend to be older people or people living in more rural areas. But there are also those who worry about privacy or who think that the Internet isn't necessary in their lives. Some of these people are even proud to be independent from the online world. Interesting. We've all heard stories about how Internet use is growing. Today, however, we're talking with someone who has studied people who don't use the Internet. Let's welcome Dr. Tom Van Cleave to the program. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Thanks for coming. Now, I understand that many people still don't use the Internet. Is that right? What can you tell us? That's right. My research has revealed that in the United States, for example, about 22% of the population never uses the Internet. And why is that? Well, they tend to be older people or people living in more rural areas. But there are also those who worry about privacy or who think that the Internet isn't necessary in their lives. Some of these people are even proud to be independent from the online world. Interesting. Let's answer the questions. What percentage of the U.S. population never uses the Internet? And what kind of people don't use the Internet? 22% of the population never uses the internet 22 percent of the american people never uses internet they are older people older people people living in rural areas rural areas the countryside the village the villages again the answer older people people living in rural areas those who are worried about privacy or who think the internet is not necessary in their life. B. Listen to the rest of the program, then answer these questions. What does the term nativators mean? What are internet dropouts? Dropouts? Why do some people become internet dropouts? Internet, also we can read it Internet. 
in American, also Internet. Page 46, Exercise 6, Part B. Listen to the rest of the program, then answer these questions. In your new book, you mention net evaders. Can you explain what you mean by this? Well, lots of people live with someone who browses websites, but they still don't log on themselves. I call this group net evaders. I found that these people may ask a family member to send emails for them, for example, but they don't want to do it themselves. I know someone like that. <laughs> yes, and then there's another group of people I call Internet dropouts. Internet dropouts? What exactly does that mean? It refers to people who once used the Internet, but have stopped using it for some reason. They may not have a computer anymore, may not have enough time, or simply may not be interested. I see. Well, thanks very much for sharing that information with us, Dr. Van Cleve. You mention net evaders. Can you explain what you mean by this? Well, lots of people live with someone who browses websites, but they still don't log on themselves. I call this group net evaders. I found that these people may ask a family member to send emails for them, for example, but they don't want to do it themselves. I know someone like that. <laughs> yes, and then there's another group of people I call Internet dropouts. Internet dropouts? What exactly does that mean? It refers to people who once used the Internet, but have stopped using it for some reason. They may not have a computer anymore, may not have enough time, or simply may not be interested. I see. Well, thanks very much for sharing that information with us, Dr. Van Cleve. What does the term net evaders mean? Net evaders are people who ask others to send emails or browse websites for them. Net evaders are people who ask others to send emails or browse websites for them. Internet dropouts or internet dropouts are people who once used the internet but don't anymore. Are people who once used the internet but don't anymore. Some people become internet dropouts because they don't have a computer anymore. They don't have enough time or aren't interested. That's the end of unit 7 part 1. Homework number 1. Keep the words by heart. Listen and repeat. It's number 2. Listen and repeat. 3. Answer 3 pages in the workbook. Unit 7. Workbook. 4. Go to www.interchangercade.org for more games and exercises. Wish you like it. Share it and subscribe. Wish you all good luck. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Presentation Plus is available exclusively with the new 4th edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources all with the click of a mouse. With Presentation Plus, your students will be laser focused on the task at hand as you use the built-in presentation tools to highlight key concepts, reveal answers to exercises, annotate passages, play class audio passages and video segments and even embed web links right into your lessons. Let us show you how Presentation Plus can help you deliver more engaging and effective lessons. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today.
ممكن نجيب كتاب انتر تشينج في اي مكتبه على مستوى العالم الكتاب موجود في العالم العربي كله في السعودية في الكويت الامارات البحرين مصر والكتاب كمان موجود في فرنسا وايطاليا واسبانيا في كل الدول وفي اوروبا فكل الناس اللي هم بياخدوا اللغة الانجليزية كلغة اجنبية تانية بيقدروا يستخدموا الكتاب عندنا مثلا في مصر في المكتبة الاكاديمية وده جنب مترو انفاق الدقي مجرد تخرج من مترو انفاق الدقي هتلاقي المكتبة على طول قدامك مكتبة سفينكس في شارع الشواربي شارع الشواربي في وسط البلد مشهور جدا فعندنا مكتبة جرير مكتبة جرير برضو بتقدم كتاب كتاب انتر تشينج السلسلة كلها وهي لها فروع في كل دول الخليج مكتبة الامازون اللي هي المكتبة رقم واحد على مستوى العالم ودي برضو فيها كل النسخ بتاعة الانتر تشينج 